Hello, it's George from LTS Security Australia, and today we're going to show you how to network a 8.6 series NVR. This is the latest 8.616 P16N. Um, we've got the latest firmware installed, so uh, before you do any up, up, um, upgrade, make sure you consult LTS to make sure that you're upgrading correctly. If it's not the latest, um, some of the older versions you need to stay on the older version so be very careful with what you're upgrading so first of all um, we're going to go and hit on the cog and then under network so here we've already got dhcp enabled what dhcp does is grabs the ip address automatically from your router so mostly uh, in most cases your router does has does have dhcp if it does not, then you can also set an address manually. So you need to check what range your router is on. If you're not aware of this, make sure you consult your IT specialist. So um, we're just going to leave DHCP on. We're going to press apply. As you can see, it's grabbed an IP address automatically. Um, here is very important as well, the DNS. If um, in a later step, if your service doesn't go online, you need to check your DNS, which is very important. Uh, let's just change that. So it is on a static DNS. So we'll just untick that. And basically we're going to use Google's DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. And then um, we're going to use the alternate DNS of 8.8.4.4. So this is Google's DNS is the relay to the internet, so you need to have that set for it to get internet access as well. Um, if it works on, on a, or enable DNS automatically, then just leave that tick. You don't need to change anything, but if you do have problems getting this system online, then this is where you need to go to change that setting. So after that, click on Advanced, and then PT Cloud. Access type needs to be set to PT Cloud. And tick enable. Now it's going to ask you to agree to these terms and services. So you need to agree to that and press OK. Now after that, you need to also make sure that V2 is ticked or selected. And we need to create a encryption code. So this is what makes your device more secure. So we can just put in here just for example, LTS three two one now probably a good idea to use something a little bit more complicated but that will do for now and then we're going to press apply okay so after we've pressed apply we're going to wait for this to go online so the registration status see it's gone online so that means it's linked to the cloud server sometimes you can if you don't see that come up automatically you can go in and out of the menu and wait for it to go online. If it does not go online, then you need to go back to your network settings, and make sure that it's communicating correctly. So we'll go back to here. Now, as you can see, it says account status unlinked. So that means that it's not connected to the app. The app that we use is called LTS Connect. Now you can also tick time sync to make sure that the system synchronizes to the cloud. So the cloud updates your time accordingly. Um, the unbind is if you've if it's already connected to a device and you want to unbind it, you can do that with the latest firmware and latest recorders. You can remove devices from this area if you need to. So now we're going to go to the mobile phone. I'm going to show you how to scan this QR code down the bottom um, and add it to your phone. Okay, guys. So now we're going to show you first of all how to quickly register and count on LTS connect so if you don't have LTS connect you can download it from the Android store or the Apple store so to, once you've downloaded and installed it you need to click on register and go through this process Sec select your country make sure you select Australia register an account once the account is registered it's going to send you an email or an SMS you need to go through that process so just to jump start that I'm going to sign into our admin account And log in. So after you log in, you should get a screen like this. This is a, an account which is fresh, doesn't have any devices added. We want to click Add Device, and we're going to click on Scan QR Code. 
So then we're going to scan this QR code. There you go. We've got the recorder scanned in. Let's recognize the QR code. We're going to click on add. And then completed. Next. Now you can rename this device. So you could put in work. And then VR, for example. Then the capital. Click on save. So you can have multiple devices on the same account. Now that that's added, there's nothing else you need to do. Um, you can just click on play back your cameras. Very, very easy. Um, you can go into the app and basically click on that live stream. You can click on 4 split or 12 split. Depending on your internet speed, this will take some time to load. Uh, we've got some poor internet here, as you can see. We've just added a device too, so it's synchronizing. Uh, so as you can see, it's loaded all the cameras. You can click on playback now. If you want to quickly review something. Now, um, the good thing about the new recorders and new app, we can filter human events. So you can see me coming in. And um, you can also do vehicle events. So we'll go and play back another channel. Let's try this one here. So if you want to click on playback. Click on human. And this is a quick way to find certain, uh, as you can see, right in the top right hand corner, it's picked up a human. Very early a time of the day. 6 a.m. Here's another. Just wait for that to update. Can't really see where that's actually uh, picked someone up, but otherwise we'll do vehicle. So you can filter by the events quite easily. There you go, there's a car coming in. Uh, so there's snapshot features you can record. Um, you can do digital zoom. You can set your division so you can have multiple cameras. Um, go back to live. And if, um, if you do have the active guard function, you can arm and disarm your cameras here where it's got armed. And um, you can add this to your favorites. And uh, if you want to share this device, so basically sharing is another quick um, way of getting your um, cameras to a family member or a friend if, or a colleague. You can basically click here and click on share. Now, um, the other person needs to also register an account. So once they register an account, then um, basically you can click on share via QR code. They, same way as um, you added the recorder, they scan your QR code on your phone and you can share the device with them. Um, the other thing that you can do when you do decide to share a system, you can choose what cameras you want to share. So here you've got all your cameras. You can tell them which cameras you want. You only want camera one um, and then you can also say if you want them to be able to do playback etc so once you share that to that account then they can access that camera or recorder um, depending on how you set the position permissions so that's about it guys thanks for watching